Hey everybody, I wanted to do something new today. As you can see here, I'm going to be doing a review on the new Athern Genesis SD70 ACE BNSF Railway with Tsunami Sound and High Headlight. Um, I have not seen a review of this on YouTube, so I figured I'll do one. Just got this locomotive in day before yesterday. And let me just show you all what it comes in. It comes in this um, cardboard box. Let me just slip this out for you all real quick. Get this box off. Alright. As you can see here, beautiful blue and Genesis Gold box. Real nice packaging. And let's just open this. Have a, I have already tested this locomotive and it is real good. My very first sound locomotive. And here it is. Real nice packaging as you can see here. Let me just take this out real quick. Alright, as you can see it is packaged well with foam on top and bottom. In uh, another plastic casing. So you can see here all the nice details of it. Has um rail protectors. Real nice back and front. Um also in this little slot some um I guess little detail parts you add on after. Not sure y'all can see that. Put it right here. Just some detail parts. Um, also comes with um, and I put these already underneath the box. Your um, limited warranty. Uh, at their news flyer. Um, the owner's manual. You see here. Nice owner's manual with details of how everything's put together. Handrails and such, motor and sound, fuel tank and couplers, handling and maintenance, and it's lubrication points in case anything starts getting a little slow on you. The truck assembly, the handling and maintenance. the DCC is sound and it's um functions you can see here and other information up on that DCC and sound and more of these CVs and just some pictures of some other ACEs real nice go ahead and put that back in the box Well, I might just hang on to this since I haven't really memorized all the functions yet. <clears throat> since this is my very first locomotive with DCC and sound, so I'll just have that out right here. Alright, let me just put back this. Like these little accessories. Alright. All right, here we go. Now time to open up and start up this locomotive. Okay. So as you can see here, we got the locomotive. All we gotta do is slip it out of its casing. Sorry for so much movement. I'm using my iPod to record videos for YouTube. Okay, let me just open this tab. that out of the box. Let me just place this on the tracks real quick. Oh, 
Murray. I just move my mess I made real quick. Move that to the side. Okay. <clears throat> here we go. Here's the locomotive. As you can see here, let me just move away the little rail spacing. And here we go. This is a Athern Genesis SD70 ACE. Real nice locomotive, as you can see here. Very highly detailed, beautiful paint job. Uh, as you can see this piece part right here is see-through. You can see something behind there. Also, you can tell here this is also see-through. Real nice. Handrails. See-through fans with lots of detail on them horn and you can see through this vent you can see the wire underneath um, also this here let me just get this let me see if I can try and get this with my hands alright okay the top right here opens up let me try and get it again slip out and underneath here you have a full interior and um not sure if you can see, but um, right here underneath the magnet, there's some little extra grab irons. I think you can see them, the little orange strips sticking out of the underneath the magnet. Got the high headlight wiring and full interior cab, which is real beautiful. And you can see top attached by magnets. Let me put that away. Put that back. All right, all right. You can see here, real nice BNSF railway. Now I'm gonna be using the NCE power cab for this, so I'll stop talking and you can all listen to it start up. Let's give it time for the power to start to the trucks. Real loud, real nice, very exciting locomotive. You can see here. I'm getting my book here so I can tell you all what it does. Okay, so on the NCE power cab, I just pressed the headlight button, and that's the top headlight. Um, F5 is the ditch lights. Can you see here? Um, F1 is the bell, but there is a bell button on the power cab, so let's just turn that on. Got your horn, also a button on the power cab. Okay, we got the. We also got a. Um, we got a dynamic brake noise, which is F4. But um, it probably only works when you're in motion. Got the F7 right here, the dimmer for the light. Can barely tell that. Um, also, there's the the coupler noise, which on here you press and hold down shift and F10 for the coupler noise. F8 is to mute it. Alright, and um, let's see what else there is. F2 and F3 is the horn. F3 is a short horn. <clears throat> Alright. As you can see here on the power cab, I'm using the 28 speed step function. And here it is in function one, in speed step one. 
As you can see, it, it can navigate through this 18 inch radius curve. Real nice. And this is in speed step one out of the 28. And it is in reverse. Very nice, very silent motor it has inside. And with the um, rear light, as you can see there. Nice sound as it progresses along the track. And as you add more power, it makes the sounds for that also. Got the idle forward now. Okay, here we come back. With the bell. Very beautiful engine here. No problems yet, as I can see here. But it is a very nice engine. A lot of people do say one of the the lights, ditch lights, tend to go out after a while, but. I'm not going to really use the lights on too much Unless I really want to I just, as long as they work, that's fine with me I don't really use the lights too much uh, I'm not sure if they can uh, Wig wag with the horn Since I'm not really that good at programming the lights yet But I'm um, not sure if that's a feature on this model But other than that, this model is real good, very nice, very beautiful. Not as expensive as I thought it would be. Got it for uh, $200, brand new.